Hey everybody, Bryce here from CodeLife.io. And today we're building a simple website with React, React Router, and Bootstrap 4. So as you can see on the page here, we got a really simple website. It's got a home page, which we're currently on, an about page. The text is all the same. They're just copy pasted, copy pasted. Um, and a contact page, you can put a form here, do whatever you want. And then we just got a little link back to the home page. If you click on our logo or you can put an image back the yeah, put an image up there if you want. Um, and then just like a little simple footer. So it's nothing crazy. Um, but we're just gonna learn the basics of kind of React Router and how we can kind of get it get set up and get going. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And we'll go create, let's create a new project, create React app. Call my site. Bam. Well, it's installing. Um, so if you don't have Create React App um, installed, go here to Facebook Incubator slash uh, Create React App. Um, and they have this project called Create React App, if you don't know what it is. Um, it allows you to bootstrap your React application really quickly, really easily. You don't have to configure Webpack or anything like that. Zero configuration. You just run npm install dash g create react app that'll install globally on your computer. Then you can just run kind of what we were doing, create react app and then the name of your app. And you can CD into it and run npm start and your server will spin up. So it's still installing. Um, and then you can see, we'll take a quick tour here. Uh, bootstrap four is what we're gonna be using. Here's the, te uh, the JavaScript and the CSS we're gonna copy in to get up and running really fast. And then we're going to pull from some of the examples page on the um, getbootstrap.com uh, website because um, they have a couple of good ones. We can probably we'll pick off the nav bar and the footer from one of these. Um, then uh, over at Pexels, uh, I found this free image we're going to use for the header. Pretty straightforward. So let's see here. Perfect. So we'll CD into my site. Awesome. Let's open it in Atom. Perfect, so we got it open. Come to the source directory here. And you can see what we got going on public. So here's index.html. This is where the file's gonna launch from, essentially. So this is where we need to copy our bootstrap files into. So we go back over to that website, not examples, this one. So let's copy this and we'll go back over. And JavaScript, we wanna load just before the closing body tag here. That way it doesn't block our site from running. And the style sheet, we will paste in, let's put it right here. There we go. Oop. Perfect, so that should be installed. Now if we run pm start, should be our project bootstrapped Boom. So just, this is kind of the default starter. Welcome to React. So we got to go in and kind of gut this um, and get it the way we want, essentially. So it tells you right here, edit, edit source app JS. So if we go source app JS and bam, we can kind of see everything that's going on in here. Um, so I have to clear some of this out essentially. Um, and we want to pretty much gut this whole thing. Because what we're going to do is install the router. So let's actually go over here. Oop. And we want to install React Router DOM. That's what it was. Man, I'm blanking out here. Um, so we install React Router DOM. And so you can look it up on GitHub, but essentially allows you to route between pages, which is nice. So if we come back over here to our app. So what we need to do is in here in app.js, we'll need to import that React uh, router. So what we can do, let's go import, go browser router, as we'll call it, router, which is like an alias. We'll import route as well from react router dom. We have that, 
Now we can come down here and we can go router. Let's close that. And let's say we need our first route. Um, I think we might need to put this in a div. I'll put it in one just to be safe here. Can't remember if we need that or not. So we'll do route. So we got to list the route within the router component they have here. Say exact path equals. So this will be our home path. Component will equal. And we'll put home. Well, we don't have a home component yet. So if we click over here. Oh, we need to restart my server. NPM start. Probably throw an error here. That would make the most sense. Yep, home is not defined. Perfect. So let's go define home. So I like to always create a new folder and call it components. Or in here, let's create one for images. Actually, I'm going to grab that image that we saw on pixels here. So I went ahead and downloaded it. It's called City Streets um, JPEG. So let me go ahead and move that over. I'm going to pause the video and move that over to that directory. All right. So I went ahead and downloaded that uh, image. So we got that all set up. So that's good. So we're making good progress. So we were working on home not being available. Some components here. We need to create a new component. I'll call it home um, dot JSX. Take it back. Actually, let's rename this folder because I don't think it's accurate to call it components. More like pages, which are going to house components. So for me, I think I, I think it makes more sense to name it pages than components. So let's do that. Um, so we have our home dot JSX. And we'll have a home. Let's create a home.css while we're at it. Uh, so we'll import React component. So we're importing this from the React uh, node uh, package. And then let's see. So that's all for now. Let's do class home extends component. And then we need a render a return. Let me just change this JavaScript so it reads a little better. There we go. And then we're going to put in here. Let's put a div because you got to wrap all your anything you have is like a component um, has to have an opening and kind of wrapper tags, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, so here we'll just put let's go h2 say welcome close the h2 header tag and then got some Lorem ispum. I just found like a generator online that'll generate the text, and I threw it between a couple of paragraph tags. So I'll just paste that in there. So now, if we go back over to app.js, we need to actually import this. So if we go import, say home from pages slash home.jsx. Let's see if that works for us. I'm missing something. Hopefully you guys caught that. So down here I need export default home. So normally I put it like up here, but I see a lot of people that put it down here. So maybe that's kind of the react standard. Either way, it'll work just fine. Boom. So there we are. We're routing to one page. <laughs> so we're just on the home page. Uh, not very interesting. So in the next video, we'll actually go ahead and add uh, a nav bar and a footer. Um, and make it a little more interesting. So check back in the next video when we tackle that.